Hello, this is Tyler White. I'm going to show you a little bit, a little bit of an advanced technique to help you find north using an anthill. Now, this is for Western United States, Northern Hemisphere. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the concept of natural heating that is displayed by the anthills and use it to find north. The reason why this works is because most holes on these anthills are going to be facing south-southeast to protect them from the north wind and to heat the mound on the inside. The problem is some of, them, some of the holes are on the south, some are on the southeast, some are on the southwest. They're not always super reliable. But if you know that in this part of the world they're all south, southeast, southwest, then you're going to know that roughly over there somewhere is north-ish. And sometimes just getting a kind of bearing to north is enough to get you going in the right direction. Like maybe you've got a river that runs uh, east and west or north and south and you don't know whether or not that part of the river is east or that part of the river is west or north or south or whatever. If you can find an anthill or a couple of anthills and take an average between the two and know that most of these holes are on the south, southeast, southwest side, then I know, okay, north is over there somewhere. So having said that, I've got a compass. Now this is magnetic north, which is going to be 12 degrees, if I remember correctly, off from true north on this part of the world. So if I put this little magnetic compass right there, it's telling me that is magnetic north, so I know that roughly that direction is north. And sure enough, we've got this hole on south-southwest. Okay, here's another hole or an older hole. And here's the newer hole. Maybe a deer ran through this mound and kicked that other hole into it. I'm not sure. But you can see that it kind of gives me an idea that over there is north. And sure enough, that's magnetic north. And roughly 13 degrees to the left is going to be true north with regards to the anthill. Now again, this is situation dependent. It takes a little bit of advanced skill to do this. But it, once you get the hang of it, you can reliably get a general bearing of north without having to pull your compass out all the time or when you don't have a compass. Hopefully this is valuable to you and thank you for watching. This is the original hole. This is the secondary hole, which I think is actually a deer footprint. There is north. Usually I found these on the southeast. There is south, and that would be in alignment with southeast. Maybe confused as southwest. Okay, let's find one more anthill and compare the two. Right here, I have another anthill. This one hasn't been stepped on. It's got a little bit of a hole right here, okay? Now, the, the time of year that this is, uh, it's Winter is just over, so most of these ants are not out and about doing their thing. So, do this the right way. Match the red with the red. You can see here's north. Here is, this is magnetic north, true north. South, southeast is the hole. And that should be enough to tell us that north is in that direction roughly.